so hello everyone <clears throat> welcome to lorenzo data solutions so my name is sanepe abraham sap success factors consultant and a corporate trainer so before i continue to explain to say anything in this uh, short video i want to say one thing this is my opinion or my own view it doesn't represent anyone so so in this uh, short video i am going to explain about success factors employee central h2 2022 release enhancements so today what i will do i will explain to you that all the very interesting enhancements um, you know you will experience in this uh, latest updates so let us see the first and foremost about uh, the release schedule for h2 2022 so the preview release is on october 28th it's an updated date uh, 2022 the production release on uh, 9th december 2022 so here one of the major uh, um, you know enhancement is or update we can say about the foundation objects you know i'm sure uh, you know i think if you all gone through my classes i used to say for the first time when sap started initiation of migration for the foundation objects it was since 2014 in quarter 4 2014 the second migration it took place in uh, to quarter 2 2015 quarter 4 2015 there are three phases so from a corporate data model to the uh, uh, you know metadata framework the objects have been migrated so we call them as a mdf foundation objects so the point is now as an enhancement we can say even though those objects migrated and uh, the list of those objects used to be there available in the manage organization pay and job structures but still when you try to create them from the navigation from the manage organization pay and job structures still the small pop-up used to come saying that the object migrated to the mdf and uh, please click on the link and navigate to the mdf foundation object so you are able to see the list of objects but now from this release what is happening all the migrated foundation objects we used to call it as a mda foundation object and which you are still able to see in the manage organization pay and job structures those objects are removed from the list now in order to access manage sorry in order to access these migrated foundation objects now you will not find them under the manage organization pay and job structures when you are trying to create objects for migrated objects like a legal entity division department business unit job function job classification and etc don't come to the manage organization pay and job structure please go to the manage data configure the objects directly this is one of the major update you are going to see from this latest uh, uh, release from h2 2022 from the production release december 8th sorry december 9th so make sure that is very important point and uh, which you are going to experience and again with regarding the same with the foundation object sometimes you know what happens you create a foundation objects you create an mda foundation objects and then you start hiring the data so you start hiring an employee and maintain the data against the employee each employee so later sometimes some people what they do maybe with awareness without awareness this is you know you try to delete the data what is assigned already to the employee so now what the system is going to tell you now the system is going to give you a warning message saying that deleting or deactivating the foundation object it leads to inconsistency within the employee data so if an employee if the object references to the object that you are trying to delete it is going to break the reference so that's why you, know, you need to give a confirmation like a warning message 
the system is going to give you like this why before you delete that means when the warning message will come if that particular object is already used while hiring the employee otherwise you will not receive the message as a warning message so you can see that for a job information records you can check the alerts to verify that record didn't break the data what is maintained this is one of the uh, another update with regarding the foundation objects and then one more thing is sometimes changing the status uh, for the objects that is created the data what is assigned to the employee so can lead to the data inconsistencies within the system so before you go and uh, delete so go and check and uh, delete the relationship of the foundation objects and uh, change the status as for your wish so this is one thing which is very interesting that is really good so that it maintains the consistency the data what you maintain and you configure so as i told you this is a before migration that means uh, after migration also you are able to see like you can see like some of the objects you know in the manage org but these are all foundation objects not migrated objects but as you just scroll down you can see the migrated objects we used to see you know like legal entity department business unit all these highlighted still you, you we used to access it but from now onwards from december 9th you know production release these objects you will not see in the manage organization pay and job structure but you will be rather going to experience all of these available in the manage data so it's very interesting update definitely it uh, helps you and uh, i hope uh, this is one thing that helps you to update your understanding with the subject and these are the technical details with the reference number and the feature and it is available universally and that means you no need to perform any other uh, you know uh, admin updates it is going to be applied universally to all the customer systems next another very interesting feature you will experience with this update is uh, you know when you go to the manage business configuration sometimes uh, maybe for administrators for the consultants they are not sure about uh, the purpose of the field but a good thing even in the manage business configuration sap provides you the tool tip tip the help text we can say that means for every field you can see there is a question mark is there right this helps you to provide the meaning the purpose of the field the behavior of the field why this field is about what this field is about the purpose of the field why to use when to use where to use what happens if in case if you are using it so this is one thing it is a guided help a guided tip so where you don't see that actually in the manage business configuration uh, before this release from this release this is one good thing that helps all the consultants to choose the right option the right configuration and where you can avoid a lot of uh, issues selecting wrong data and uh, you can see the reference details the technical details and it is a reference to the business configuration and of course this is a minor enhancement but still the useful functionality now let us try to understand uh, one more enhancement from this release that's about uh, hras actions you know we have hras actions right so now most of the hras actions are not used you know they still exist in the system but they're not used so what sap has done now the all the unused hras actions now sap is deleting it completely okay so now now the what you called currently not used configuration of the hras actions from the people profile will be deleted from 9th december 2022 you can see the milestone end of development it's already completed like 20th 2022 it's going to be removed completely uh, that means no update is uh, complete update stopped from here and then uh, end of maintenance is uh, may 20th deleted all the hras actions which are unused in a managed business configuration so it's going to be deprecated so now to clean up the managed business configuration the most of hras actions which are not used are going to be completely deleted 
So when you go to the manage business configuration HRIS action and you are able to see like this, which are most of them are unused, not used. Now what SAP is doing from this uh, production release and they are deleting all these, you know, whatever is required, they are going to, uh, you are going to see. And in case if you want to use it, what is going to be used, then you can add it. But all the unused HRAS actions are completely deleted by SAP from this release. Next, the another update is uh, data models in a managed business configuration. The sync, uh, the sync from uh, succession data model to managed business configuration, the sync from managed business configuration to the data model. Sometimes what happens now, when you're uploading the data model, succession data model, maybe in the provisioning, uh, you know, some of the configurations that you make in the succession data model doesn't sync uh, with the managed business configuration. So this is creating again some kind of uh, inconsistency, creating a lot of uh, issues within the data you are doing. But now what is happening from this release words, you know, modification, for example, you are deleting the HRAS field uh, from a succession data model. So that is also going to be deleted from the managed business configuration. For example, job code. So it is also going to be deleted job code from a managed business configuration. Another example, suppose you are deleting the country and region specific field in the succession data model, country specific succession data model. The same corresponding field also will be deleted in the managed business configuration. Example, job code, job info USA and uh, job code, job info USA on body will be also deleted like that. You can see a lot of examples are given. Deleting the HRAS element in a succession data model also will be deleted the HRAS element in the managed business configuration. Here is an example. So like that. So there is a consistency when you're deleting something, it is also getting deleted in the managed business configuration. There is a sync is happening with a consistent manner and where it was not working earlier. It's a good thing. So now the data model and uh, managed business configuration having a consistency and uh, they are up to date. So these are the reference details and you can go through it. Next, uh, let us also try to understand uh, the new validation checks in managed business configuration. So, you know, in managed business configuration, you know, the system helps you to raise the warning messages when you are going to save the HRAS elements in the configuration. So these messages provide a necessary troubleshooting information to help the administrators to prevent, uh, uh, to prevent uh, the misconfigurations. If in case, you know, for example, here it is like uh, automatic changes that happens in the configuration or instructions to update when configuration is done manually. So it provides you the troubleshooting help. So follow that message and uh, everything is going to be good. Next. Another thing is about uh, another update with this H2 2022 uh, update is about uh, higher date correction. You know, no longer allowed directly on a job information uh, portlet on a people profile. So now some people what, what you used to do, you click on insert a new record and then uh, you try to take an action and then try to correct. It is absolutely not possible from this release. but Suppose if I'm doing, if I, I made a mistake, I want to correct a higher date, where you can do it? You can do it higher, higher date uh, a correction tool directly in admin center, not on the job information from this release. So that means the system is no longer going to allow you to change the higher date of a user correction directly on the job information history UI. When you click on edit, okay, or insert a new record, but you can do it from the admin center with regarding this. And another most important thing, as I've been telling in my classes, that from the next release onwards from H2 2022, uh, the SAP is going to deprecate event trees and derivations XML template. So the time has come, the legacy method of deriving the event trees and derivations XML template is going to be deprecated. That means the event trees and derivation scenarios, you are going to manage everything directly through business rules, not through XML. So we used to have a five XML templates now, but now from this release, you are going to have only four data models in Employee Central. And here you can see the key dates about, about this particular 
functionality and with the reference so there are a lot of interesting functionalities uh, uh, you are able to see that i have explained with this uh, employee central h2 2022 and i'm sure those who are watching this video may help you with the interesting functionality and thank you so much for watching this video hope it helps you to understand with the latest updates helps you to enhance your understanding thank you so much see you next time with the new functionalities bye everyone